This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit, and I'm on the less than analog input. Displaying sensor reading in color. Ooh. In earlier predictive prediction level, you saw how the set scale method can convert the full range of sensor reading 0 to 1023 into a range that can be useful from uh, RGB values, right? So RGB is 0 to 255, red, green, blue. Let's build on that idea and make an app that can communicate the current value of th all three analog sensors in a single color. Huh. To start, we just need to set the sensor scale correctly. Don't worry about actually setting the color of the background yet. Using the sensor.setScale block, set each of the light and sound sensors to the right scale of RGB, red, green, blue color channel. Create a variable for each of the three colors, okay, and assign each one to the value of a different sensor. Create a variable for each of the three colors and assign each one. Okay, so we're going to set the sensors to a certain color. All right. Uh, oh, and we're going to be building a project over time. Cool. Let's start with our variable. We need a variable for the three colors. That much we know. Red, green. I'm going to be creative. That's not true. I'm just going to name them red, green, blue. <laughs> um, and then oh, here we go. Create a variable for each of the three color blocks. Assign it to a different sensor. Light and sound sensors. Okay, so we want to set the scale, too, of those sensors, because if they're going to be colors, we need it to be between 255 and 2... Up oh, there's the light scale. Uh, and, uh, 0 and 255, because that's the maximum color for uh, red, green, blue. Light sensor and sound, or was it... Yep. Okay, so we want it to be equal to those. Light sound sensors. Yep, okay. Okay, and then... Oh, and then the temperature sensor. So... Is there a temperature set scale? No, but it's unlikely the temperature... Oh, well, the temperature is not going to be over 255. Okay, so... Let's get the Fahrenheit sensor. ba -da. Okay, and now this light sensor... Oh, that's just setting the scale. Okay, now we need to get the value of each of these. So we'll put the sound sensor here. Right, so this is the value of the sound sensor, and we know it's going to be less than 255 now, because now the max it will give us is 0 to 255. So if it is a noise deafening loud, the top number it will give us is 255. And then light sensor, so we need the light value. Okay, and then what's this say? Use console log to test the variable are in the correct range. Order matters. You need to set the scale of the sensors before checking its value. Okay. Remember the temperature sensor can be read in both Celsius and Fahrenheit. Either way, it should be given a value. Yeah, okay. So now let's use console log to check all this work, like they suggest. So, I'm going to say red... And then our variable was, well, red. Okay, and so I'm just concatenating a string just so I can kind of keep track of what is what. And then green. And then I'll label blue as well. And then the actual variable. All right, that should do that. Let's give it a shot. Oh, okay. Um, red 13. Would that make sense for light? Maybe for a sound, 
okay. And then blue, yeah, that makes sense for temperature. Let me reset it, and I'm going to put a harsh light on this. And run. Oh, red 244. <laughs> okay, okay. So it's working. Great. Um, awesome. Let's keep going.